dollar hey, hello fun and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Collision Effects Reupdated mod, which is being made by form user Void Cosmos. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game are some pretty awesome spark and dust effects for whenever your ship does collide and scrape across the surface. And not only that, but it even comes with some corresponding lighting and sound, which is pretty darn cool, and really adds a lot of interesting atmosphere and, well, effects to any of your crashes, which is wonderful. So let's uh, jump on over here to where I have an Eris 3A on the runway, and take a look at what exactly we do get, and I've really been having a lot of fun with this because, well... Let's be honest, I crash a lot, and making the crashes a little bit more interesting with sparks flying everywhere is pretty cool. So let's actually uh, lower our landing gear here, and turn off the UI, and just throttle up, and what you'll notice is wherever our craft, any part of the fuselage or any other random part, touches the ground, we're going to start getting some sparks coming off of that part, as you can see right there, which is just cool. I mean, that's an interesting effect. Now you can see, uh, coming off the landing gear, it's coming basically straight out from the back of it. For the air scoop, though, it seems to be getting a little wonky with the physics going straight up. Uh, for the most part, it does seem to be coming off of, from the back of the direction of travel, which is pretty cool. And just all in all, having these sorts of sparks is just a fun little addition into the game. And like I said earlier, it's not just the sparks, it's also light. So if I do bring up a uh, quick little clip I shot earlier in testing with literally just rolling around a command pod, you can see at nighttime uh, the light is a lot more noticeable. Now it's a, not a, a uh, constant light, it's just a sort of intermittent light that's sort of popping into existence every so often with the sparks. It's subtle, but when you are landing at nighttime, it is noticeable, and it's just that little bit of noticeable that's just fun. Adds that little extra something to your catastrophic failures, which is pretty darn cool. Now, this isn't all we're getting, though. If I do bring this back up and just uh, revert flight, yeah, we'll revert to launch. We also get, along with the sparks, some fun noises, such as landing gear when it comes in contact with the runway doing a rubbery screech which is awesome and again just adds a little bit something extra now uh, I'm not gonna try to take off and land because you guys know me I'm an awful pilot and I'll probably just crash the plane but I discovered in testing earlier if I just go off the side to the ground over here the plane bounces enough to do it as you can hear right there now, because we just started hitting the ground and we're starting to sort of bounce up, even though it's barely noticeable here, it's constantly triggering that sound. So if you are an actual competent pilot and you're just hitting the ground once and then you're done and over with, you should just only get one screech and you're good to go. Now, for me, of course, with how awful I am, I'm going to get that screech all the time because it's just going to be constantly bouncing. But it's just another nice little extra bit of something to make things more interesting. Now, on to one slight issue I have with it. It's not a big issue. I just find it kind of weird. If we toggle our landing gear off and throttle all the way up, if we actually get enough speed, because of course we're on grass and the friction's kind of weird here, but if we get up enough speed, we will actually start seeing sparks. Uh, there we go, we got some sparks down on the air scoop. Even though we're here on the grass, which is, um, weird. I don't know if that's something the mod maker can fix. I don't know if the game actually makes a uh, any sort of differing trigger between the pavement of the runway and the grass out here. But I just find it a little bit odd that we're getting that same sparking out here. You'd think it'd just be like maybe a dust or dirt effect or something along those lines. But instead, we get we get little bits of uh, sparking there. 
It's a minor thing, and honestly, most of you who are good pilots will probably never, ever see it. And even me, as an awful pilot, I'll probably never see those sparks, because typically, if I'm landing in the grass, we're not living. So, um, you know, it's just a big explosion. But I just love, overall, the adding of the spark effects, the rubber screech for the landing gear, and that little extra bit of lighting that just is just so much fun. I really do like what this mod does bring to the game. It's just cool. Now, one concern is performance. If you have like a really large plane that's just throwing off thousands upon thousands of sparks, it is all particle effects that are being processed. So you are actually gonna have a hit in performance. And even right now, I actually just saw a hit in performance because I throttled up, we went faster, and a lot of sparks were coming out. So that is a slight concern for performance. So if you do have a lower end computer, this may not be the best mod for you. But hey, if you're a good pilot, that may not be a problem for you. Or if you have a high-end computer, just have at it and let the sparks fly. It's just entertaining. But yeah, my friends, that is really going to be it for this episode today. Not a whole lot to actually talk about considering, you know, we're just looking at sparks. But if you'd like to check this out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. I hope you all have enjoyed and yet do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. And oh boy, I'm losing a lot of frames here right now. Ooh, ooh, all right. Later, folks.